Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I've got some skeletons in here. I need, I need a bunch of bones. I need a bunch of bone meal. So, I'm uh, farming up some more. And it's, you know, it's a little slow going. But, um, I might, I just need three more stacks of bone blocks. Even though I kind of pains me to, to do that, I'm probably going to do this. Take this, because I ain't got time for this. Okay, so I'm back here in the underground area underneath the Mushroom Island, and I'm still digging out more chunks, but I've started putting stuff in. Um, and let's see here. Let's grab some bones here because a lot of this needs bone meal. And let's do this. Get a couple stacks here. So, number one, I've got my little uh, warped nylium uh, little patch here. I've seen this before. I've been farming up as many of these shroom lights as I can, and I've been using them pretty much as quickly as I've been getting them. Um, so, there's two ways of dealing with that. And one is just keep going what I'm doing, and the other is to expand operations. So I'm gonna let's just bone meal these up real quick. Come on, there we go. Uh, I, I get enough of the warped wart blocks. Uh, I throw them in the composter, and it's about steady state in terms of the bone meal. So that's that's all fine and dandy. Come on, there we go. Hello, I need you. All right, so that's that. And I figured out how grow, how tall these things can grow. Oh, bamboo. I don't know if I showed this. I think I did. Bamboo with grow lights. Because <laughs> bamboo is very sensitive to light levels. Uh, if it goes below a certain point, I think it's lights level 7, it just stops growing on the top of the plant. So that means you need, uh, you need sufficient light. And trees, fairly similar. Um, it's not seven. I think it's light level eight, but they won't, they won't, you can bone meal them in lower light levels, but they won't grow on their own. So I've, I've gone and put grow lights everywhere surrounding the trees like this. So that they will, they will grow on their own. Um, sugar cane, sugar cane. Look at this. I've got another chunk of sugar cane growing here. Fair amount of sugar cane. I don't need that much sugar cane, but I've got it if I want it. And up here we've got cactus. Birch trees. Cactus. So I, I space these out again. I don't need this much cactus. I've got all kinds of it back at the other place. So I don't know what to do, what I'm going to do about this. I may put cactus breakers in here in between the plants to cause them to break off when they grow. And then I'll just periodically come up and uh, pick up the pieces. Of course, that'll have a lot of entities floating around. Eh, it could be a bad idea. But here, look at this. Netherrack. But I got myself a piece of crimson nylium. And I can, I can expand it. Now, this is why I needed bones, because this takes a little while. Or it takes, you know, I have to I have to bone meal each of these each of these um, bits of nether rock. Oops. And then I gotta bone meal them to get the red red uh, fungus. Crimson fungus, I think is what they're called. 
And then I gotta bone meal them in order to get the crimson fungus to grow into a giant crimson fungus. But then I'll have both varieties. Which is cool. And Lord knows I have the bones. In fact, I think I have a whole double chest full of bones back in the Winter Palace. But I figured, why not? Okay, you know what? Oops. It's going to give me a bunch of bone meal, and I need it. I need it all. All these particles. So I, looking at the way these the, the giant fungus grows, it's fascinating. So it picks a random number. Between, I don't know, 7 and 13, I think. And then it runs, gets a random number, and then there's a, there's a small chance of it doubling that size. And that's just the stems. Uh, and then it needs a couple blocks on top for the, uh, for the cap. So these things can grow almost 30 blocks tall. Um, So I made my little levels here. I made the one below. I gave it four blocks of space. And then like here, I should be able to now do this. Come on. Whoa. Oh, neat. Oh, and they get the little weeping vines. Which I don't have a use for those at the moment, but they could be cool. Oops. Me on the bar. Nice. So now I have both varieties. Oh, single shot. So I went into the nether, wandered around looking for the crimson uh, forest so that I could get the single piece of crimson nylium that I needed. Um, and, uh, yeah, didn't go super great. I mean, I got it, but I managed to anger both the, uh, the piglins and the zombie piglins all at once. Um, so that was, it was, it was bad times. Uh, I got some footage of that. It's not super great. Uh, I was mostly testing this streaming setup. Ooh, lava and some striders. Ooh. Where am I at? How far am I away from the portal? I want to deal with that. Ooh, the sky looks weird over there. Let's see what that is. Oh, shoot. Who shoot? Who shoot? Who shoot?
Okay, got him. Just a skeleton. Uh, another fortress. Is this one I've been at? Oh, what is that up there? Damn it. Okay. Um... I'm sure this is another fortress I've been to. What's... Okay. I just want to walk by this. I don't want to deal with you. Look! Come on! I want you guys to die. I don't want you shooting me. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Be careful there. Damn it. Oh, I don't worry about that. Keep an eye on your health. Don't shoot him. Okay, look what I found. Crimson Forest. I don't need much here. Oh, come on, don't do that. Do I have these? I think I swapped these around. Look at this. So I have these red mushrooms back at home. I just need some of this crimson nylium. And I have a silk touch pick here, so I should be able to do that, right? Yes. Okay. And then I should be able to grow all the stuff I need. Um, weeping vines, those grow down. That's good. Okay, I, I hear it gassed. I don't like it. There we go. Ooh. And they have the same shroom lights. Now, it would be interesting. You know, they have different color frog, frog lights. It would be interesting if they had different color shroom lights. But, where am I? It turned around. So, is that the... Yeah, that's the top, isn't it? No, there's another layer above me. Look at that. Uh, so I've just been going crazy building little spaces and farms here. And then above, giving the appropriate amount of space. Again, four, oops, four little levels there. One, two, three, four. Then I went and got some dirt and a little bit of mycelium and, oh, wow. The red mushrooms are spreading. I put three to three brown and three red mushrooms out. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. These guys not have enough room to grow. I don't think they do. So let's move him over here. And then, boom, me on there. Come on. There we go. So I've got giant mushrooms. Both varieties. And then I should also, just letting these mushrooms sit here, they should spread. All right. So, yeah. So I've got a little space here for the mushrooms. Um... And I just put one piece of mycelium down <laughs> amongst all this dirt. 
because I have been getting a little more dirt. And uh, that worked out pretty well. It spread pretty quickly. So yeah, uh, I don't think, so this this is the one I'm digging out right now. I'm kind of got that dug out. This is the next one. I'm kind of going my way up. Uh, I want to make a stack of farm farm stuff. And I might do that back over in the corner here. You know, carrots and potatoes and watermelon and pumpkin and that kind of thing. Because um, I can fit all of the farms into a single chunk, as long as they're manual farms. And then I've got all this bone meal in my pocket now, but when I go through and harvest this stuff, um, the, the, the wart block, the nylon wart blocks, they compost super well. So a... If I do a harvest of the warped wart down in the bottom down here, I get somewhere around a third to a half a stack of shroom lights. And I get enough wart blocks that I put them in the composter and I get about a stack of compost, of bone meal, which is good. Because it takes about a stack of bone meal to repair the... <clears throat> To repair the nether rack that gets or the yeah convert the nylium that gets converted back into nether rack to turn that back into nether rack, grow the little flowery stuff and fungus in order to grow more giant fungus. Um, now this stuff I can harvest and that composts nicely as well, but not as nicely as these blocks which have no purpose, no value other than uh, decorative. And they're kind of a weird block. I'm not even sure they're decorative. And they they look like they're animated, like they're cycling. So so I go and I have some just here. Um, I have some here. It's good. And... But the rest I throw into the composter to get bone meal to continue the, the process. And it seems to be about bone meal neutral. I could probably be a little more efficient about what I'm, how much I'm using the bone meal and get, um, get slightly positive. But that's okay. It works. Um, this bamboo, this much bamboo is more than enough. If I go through and clear this out, even right now when it's not, all of them aren't completely fully grown, I will fill up my inventory with bamboo. And I don't need that much bamboo. Now, it can be used as a, as a furnace fuel. Oh, hello. Those vines are very much in the way. Come on. Yeah, see, it started growing automatically, uh, immediately again. Okay. So these bamboo seem to be able to grow up two of these little levels. And this appears to be as tall as they can grow right here. And this is not for lack of light. I have block light at 12 right here, and they need seven. So that's uh, that's good. So this seems to be as how I go. That way I can put another level up there. And there's things dripping down there because I've got sugar cane up above. Sugar cane gets me a pretty good amount of sugar cane too. It's just a chunk checkerboarded. So this is uh this is good. So this is the farm setup that I've got going on over here. I should be able to farm an awful lot of the items in the game just by coming over here and going to the appropriate location and uh, and doing the work. Again, they're all manual farms, but that's okay. This is kind of my zen, my zen activity. Um, yeah, so there we go. Well, that was that. I just wanted to do a quickie update, show you the progress that I made over here. I haven't done too much else. But um, I have some clips of 
my adventure in the nether and uh spoiler alert i died and that was it so i think that will do it for now thank you for watching this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i'll see you next time bye